Hey everybody, say whole cop. I'm gonna keep this short because we got a break in the rain. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. This is my 2012 Time Out Deluxe Camper. This is my 2019 Honda Goldwing DCT Tour. Let's go camping. All right, everybody. Here we are with the Goldwing. We're towing the camper. Uh, this is something I've been talking about since I started this channel about doing some motor camping. Um, haven't had the opportunity. In my last video, I talked about planning for Sturgis. I had a free week, and believe it or not, when I checked the forecast for this week for where I'm at in New Jersey, it was, wasn't bad. It was partly cloudy, um, upper 80s to mid 80s. Um, you know, humid like it is this time of year in Jersey, but it wasn't supposed to be any extreme weather until maybe Friday. So I figured, well, now's as good a time as any. Let me see if I could find a camping spot, someplace close, nothing too far. I, I want to do a camping setup video and, you know, show how the Goldwing tows the trailer and all that stuff. I find a place that has actual openings during the week. I make reservations and I kid you not, within 20 minutes, my weather app forecast where it was no rain it was rain every day and it wasn't just any rain every day it was thunderstorms heavy rain 50 percent and up for the rest of the week so needless to say i was a little angry by the time i got home and it had started raining it did not stop if you've seen my uh short wednesday i kind of went into it but i mean it was really raining so here we are on the road. We had a small window where it wasn't raining. And I said, look, I'm just gonna go. I didn't wear the uh, arrow stitch because I'm not going on the highway. This place is in the Pine Barrens from where I live. It's not very far. So if I get a little wet, I get a little wet. But I just wanted to show how the Goldwing tows the camper and uh, give you an impression on how that goes. Okay, for any of you wondering what it's like to tow a trailer with a motorcycle, um, when I first started towing this trailer, I had a Harley Davidson 2011 Road Glide Ultra. It had the 103 in it. It towed all over Florida and everything was fine, but when we got into elevations out west, it just didn't have enough power to get up and down in elevation, you know, like the high desert and the mountains and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people told me, there sh you should be doing stuff to the motor like getting race tuned or increase the cams and at the time the bike had a lot of miles on it it was quite a few years old i wasn't about to put a lot of money into the uh, harley that i had somebody suggested just get a goldwing long story short i ended up getting a 2016 honda goldwing towed this thing around florida a couple more times it was fine no problem um traded my 16 in for this 19 I've done a couple test rides with the trailer and it pulls so much better. It stops so much better. My trailer does not have brakes. I know some of these trailers have brakes. This one does not. So uh, braking, it was an issue with the Harley. Even though the Harley had anti-locks, it took a minute for it to stop. But with this thing, it's fine. I, I mean, it has a little bit. You can feel when you take off just a little bit. But other than that, that's it. I mean, this thing pulls like a tractor. It's fantastic. Um, it is a little awkward. One thing you have to remember if you're towing a trailer is try not to get yourself in a situation where you have to back up. Because uh, then you're just, uh, you're better off probably just putting the kickstand down and pushing the, tra pushing the trailer back yourself. It, uh, it's not the easiest thing in the world to back up. It's easier just to unlatch it, pick it up, and move the trailer. So I try not to do that. Fortunately, I haven't got myself into that situation, but you never know. So went through the Pine Barrens here. And we're going to our location, see up the road. And here we are at the campground. Take it slow here, there's some potholes and this isn't the best paved lot. None of these places are. At least not in New Jersey. Okay, let's make our way up to the office, get checked in, and then we'll do a setup video. Okay. 
right, guys, we made it to the campground. Seems like it's clearing up a bit. Uh, I'm gonna set this thing up before it starts to rain again. I'll film the setup video and uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Let's get going. All right, so we got the camper all set up. We had all our stuff put away. I got the air conditioner on. I'm gonna let it cool down for a while. Uh, it's still gonna be light out for a few more hours. Looks like the rain stopped. So I'm gonna take a ride. I'm gonna take you guys with me. We'll make, we're gonna make a stop, maybe two. Then we're gonna come, come back here, have dinner, and see what we do next. Hang in there. All right, guys, we're at the Pinelands Brewing Company here in Tuckerton. Uh, it's about a little less than three miles off of exit 58 on the parkway. Um, it's close to where I'm camping, so I figured I'd stop here and have a few. Um, I've only come here once before and just did a flight, and it was pretty good, so I'm staying close by, so I figured, why not? What goes better together than beer and bicycling? Let's go inside. All right, guys, I'm trying what's called a piney flight. It's like the first four beers on their menu. It's uh, EJP, 08087, Swamp Donkey, and Pitch something. Not bad. That was the Pitch something. This is a Swamp Donkey. Ooh, that one's good. This is the 08087. I guess that's the zip code down here. Or area code, zip code. All right, that one's good. I like that one. And uh, EJP, whatever that means. It's a little sour, it's good. We're gonna try some pints next and uh, stick around, see what else happens. Oh, uh, one thing to make note of. I'm riding a bicycle here, there's no bike rack out front i had to uh chain my bike to a telephone pole so if you're cycling the area there's no bike rack here but it's on a pretty dead-end street i think it's all locals here so i wouldn't worry too much about it but i mean you got an expensive bicycle you're gonna worry about it they might let you bring it in here i didn't even ask but i'm sure they wouldn't mind they got a nice little beer garden back here i'll, I'll give you a shot of it here in a minute check it out Got a little fire pit there. It's probably really nice here on the weekends. All right, guys, I have an after dinner drink and a nightcap. Always have your saddlebags. All right, I'm gonna head back to camp. I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, made it back to camp. I put our packages on ice. I got the AC cranking in there. I got the bike tied up because there's no bike rack out here. Um, the gold wing's locked up. I got a cover on the seat. Let me show you inside. Come on.
Okay. Uh, like I said in previous videos, and for those of you who haven't seen my other video, uh, when I explained everything I had, this is that clothes rack. I got it off of Amazon. It collapses, breaks down to about eight pieces. It collapses. It fits into a shopping bag. It's perfect. It holds all kinds of heavy riding gear. I just use metal hangers because the riding gear, if you have good riding gear with armor, those plastic hangers get broken. Um, you can get those on Amazon too. They're fairly cheap. Uh, the AC is on it's cranking it's got down to about 75 in here now it's uh it's about 82 outside so at least it's dry it's not muggy um this is my new uh single mattress it's an x-bed ultra 7r i got it off rei came highly recommended by another motor vlogger um as a magpie fly she has a higher end one i, I didn't need one that expensive it's got a high r rating for when she sleeps out in the cold i don't sleep out in the cold so I got the middle of the road one, still pretty expensive, but if it's as good as the pillow, because I got the X-Bid pillow part first, this thing's gonna be great. But this will be my first time trying, so I'll let you know in the morning when I get up. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm starving, so let's eat. Okay, guys, I pre-made my salad at home. Uh, if you watch the other video, this is what I eat when I'm on the road. It's just kale beef jerky for protein, some dollar store croutons, walnuts, raisins, oh, and dollar store vinegar. The only thing that has to get, be kept cold is the kale, and that keeps for like 10 days. If you keep it cool, it keeps for me about 10 days. It's still good, it's still crispy. Um, everything else be kept in a dry bag. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, and it's relatively cheap, so I'll eat this all the time. This is great. Another question I get asked is, how high are these things for a taller person? I'm 5'11" six foot for all you single ladies out there but i got about a good i don't know maybe six seven inches over my head before i'm hitting the roof so if you're a taller guy if you're like six two six three maybe even six four this thing will be fine for you if you're looking for one i'm gonna finish my fantastic salad and i'm gonna have some road sodas hang in there all right guys i'm uh settling in having some road sodas I got the campfire going, watching Mad Max. Mm. This ain't the end of the video, though. Oh, no, 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 no. I, uh, whoop. let me get a cold one here. I, uh, I'm gonna stay overnight here. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna have breakfast. I'm gonna go through my routine with you in the morning. It's gonna be a full camping video, so it's gonna be a long one. So hang in there, and uh, I'll see you later. This is a good part, is where Mad Max gets good. It's where they kill his wife and he goes crazy. Fire's great too. Nice and easy, it's cozy. See you later. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> I slept pretty well on the mattress. It's actually worked out a lot better than I thought. Um, at first, I thought it was a little thin because I'm a side sleeper, but uh, this held up pretty good. Um, it got cool enough last night. I shut the uh, air conditioner off. I opened the windows. It's it's quiet here, so it was it wasn't a problem. Um, did get a little chilly, but you know my fire stayed lit all night, and uh, you know could warm up a little bit. So um, I'm gonna go put on some coffee and make some breakfast. All right, while the coffee's brewing, I made some overnight oats um, last night. Um, it's just basically instant oats and some raisins, put a little water in it, left it in the cooler all night, and they're great the next day. I like the texture. Uh, if you look online, a lot of recipes called for those steel cut oats. I don't like the texture, and those the instant ones are good for me. But, you know, they're just in a cooler. They're great. Wait for a coffee. I could use one this morning. All right, guys, my coffee's brewed. Unfortunately, I'm out of ice, so I gotta drink it hot. So 
so it's gonna take me a while. I'm gonna wrap up camp now, get everything packed up, start heading home. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the fire out. Never leave your campfires unattended, kids. And uh, that's about all I have time for this week. If you like what you see, put something down in the comments. If I forgot anything or I should have done something different, put that down in the comments. If it's your first time here and you like what you see, like, subscribe, follow, look me up on all social media. I'm a whole cop. Thanks again for coming by. Everybody that's been watching so far, thanks for the support. I'll see you next time.